welcome guys to another video um today i'm working on a bmw 3 series and this is one of the older 3 series so it's an n46 engine yeah, 46 yeah and this one is an interesting one uh the engine timing the jump timing so i start to disassemble looking for the <clears throat> usual cars of this probably the real or one of those things but i find something else that is fine that's strange so let me share it this one so all right let me start right here <clears throat> um i've removed the cylinder head already and I remove the pan, the crankcase pan, and inside the pan there is a lot of debris. These that you're looking at right now is pieces of a serpentine belt, and I've seen this before. I've seen this before, where the belt deteriorate and by means of let me explain all right so this is the crankshaft pulley right situated here the belt run along here but when the belt starts to deteriorate it goes behind here and force its way behind pushes down on the seal the crankshaft seal which is this this piece here it forces along the edges and what happens when it sinks this edge it's a possibility that the other edge will rise and the belt that is going around will sometimes get caught like this and go around and from once it entering the chain housing under here and it get caught in the chain the chain will take in much of that belt and I believe this is what happened here today. It break the rail. You can see that's that's common, but for the, this to happen, so if it should happen to someone out there where you see the belt strip right off, try and see as long as the seal is damaged, or you see some form of movement around this seal. I would suggest that you check for, for to see if any of it go down into the engine. It might sound a bit strange, but I've seen it before. I've seen it before where the belt the belt deteriorate and go inside the engine by means of the crankshaft seal right here. Look at the extent of the damage. So you have this cylinder is damaged right here. Another one here. The eccentric cam. You can see damage here and along on this one. So the cam isn't good. The intake cam. Yeah, the eccentric cam have a bit of burn and little dents there. So, in, 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 in a case like that now, I, I, I would, I don't know if I should rebuild this engine. I don't know. I'm at a crossroad here because to get all of these parts versus a new engine. And um, also, the gears, they are a bit worn both on the intake and the exhaust side so wow i don't know what to say about this one well i will think it through and then i will let you guys know uh, peace out <laughs> 